I don't. I have some women that hits me. And they come out of the shell and they feel like they've been delivered because of pastor's ex-wife. And to this date, I started my pastor's ex-wife.org January of 2010. And I've started the Lynn Sensation uh, about 30 days ago, something like that. Well, no, it hasn't been. It's been maybe two weeks. But anyway, and I, I stand by my videos, and I stand by my take on the matter. Ziggler ass men and women is lying to the women to control you. And the scriptures that they use, you know, I, I just, I don't know, you know, I, I look at the comments, you know, and I listen to the comments. And, you know, when I read the comments from other et ethnic persuasion, you know, they say, you know, things like black people are so simple or black people are so, you know, to take the Bible l l to at a literal sense, you know, literally, that's what it means type of thing. And, you know, in my other video, I used the Deuteronomy 22 and 5, where it says the woman can't wear that which pertains. Well, everything we put on have arms in them. Everything we put on have uh, uh, holes in them so we can put our legs in them. Now, and when you just think about it logically, you know, it's just really stupid to have the women going around looking like that. Women, you are not being yourself. You are actually following a bunch of rules that some uh, dumbass folk done told you that say that they are called to pastor when they never were called to pastor. But it's bad enough that, you know, these, these, uh, we have all of these churches, you know, so many next door to each other. You honestly think that we're representing God like that. But anyway, uh, all these churches, you know, five on one block, you know, it's just, uh, uh. Anyway, it's bad enough we have that going, but then on top of that, then you have these folk, you know, screaming, screaming the words, you know, and, 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 and they think that because they scream it, then they got to be telling the truth or that they got to be uh, of God or, or that it has to be true to form and, you know, yelling, you know, yelling the scripture, ah, ah, the Bible said, ah, the woman shall not, ah, and the woman, ah, she shall not wear those britches, you know, and just ridiculous and you know you feel like because you screaming it you know that just really just adds what's add to it what's necessary for it to be the truth uh, and yeah uh, uh, the women around here uh, uh, they wear makeup uh, and they uh, looking like a uh, and they're looking like a, a Jezebel and uh, uh, and if you really love God uh, uh, you need to be sold out uh, you know and I've had people tell me you know they called me and you know call itself getting on me with regard to my the sight you know in regard to my bikini and now I got you know negligees up there whatever and the people say, why are you doing that? That's I'm, I'm an open book. I'm an open book. So rather than to assume you getting what I'm saying, I'm going to show you. That's all it is. Into my dream with me. I'm showing you. I'm giving you a visual. I'm going to make sure that you get, at least try to the best I can, get exactly where I'm coming from. But, oh, I've seen them black and white. It's not just the black, but I got to stay within my corridor. I got to stay within my parameter, but it's not just black. It's white too, you know, just screaming a word and eh, you look like eh, a Jezebel eh, and in order for you to show that you sold out to God, you need to be in the church. You need to find yourself sitting in the pews and when God is ready, he's going to send you somebody they're gonna come walking that's a lie that's a lie 
uh, and, and don't need no jewelry, and you don't need no makeup, uh, and you don't need to listen to nothing but gospel. Uh, Jesus, keep me near the cross. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, you need to lift your hand, uh, and you need to cry out, Abba, Father, yeah, and you need to surrender all. Uh, and he said, unless you're willing to surrender, all of that. It's not true. And then here we go. Ten years old, I went home and cleaned out my closet. Got rid of all my pads. You began to peel off of your own self based upon all this yelling and screaming at the women. Ah, and, and then they get the microphone. Ah, and, and you need to uh, stop wearing those tight pants and, and uh, help the brothers out. And uh, what? Help what? Help the brothers out. What? You can't keep your dick. You, you can't keep your uh, uh, you know, uh, not at attention. What's the matter? Uh, we got to help you out. Well, guess what? Whether the women have on, you know, a form-fitting jeans or if they have on the long Mary Poppins dress. If a guy want to get up under that with his uh-uh and, and, and touch that mm-mm, he going to do that. So that's a lie. That's a lie. Got the women around here, young, around 20 years old, talking about, you know, we don't want to entice. Don't think about the brothers when you get yourself dressed. So you began to peel, began to peel and peel and peel. And pretty soon you have become what these ignorant ass people have told you to become. And you believe what they say. Now, don't get it twisted. I, I understand it's all because you love God. and ain't nothing wrong with loving God. But I just stepped on the scene. Why? Because I want to let you know that you can love God and then go in your closet and, and dress and look nice. Pads, honey. You could do gold. You could go swimming. Yeah, all of that that they tell us. You could wear makeup. You could wear weeds. You could wear jewelry. All of that, all of that shit that they told us that we can't do in order to name the name of the Lord is a lie. You can do those things and yet love God with all of you. And yet love God with all of you. I'm glad to get the emails from women all over the world. You know, you got these little small houses and you got these little small churches and they really, you know, got a grip on your mind and really got a grip on your life. And, you know, I, I found it amazing that so many comments refer to, well, sounds like she was, uh, you know, involved in a cult. Well, yeah, you, they, you may not have cult nowhere written on your church. But that's what you are involved in when somebody, some man, some you man gets up there to the point and takes the gospel of Jesus Christ and make it what you wear as a symbol. Now, tell me if I'm lying. When you see a group of people, no matter where, and in long dresses and, and bum buns and they all huge and, and all of that. You automatically in your mind that those are church people. That's not letting your light shine. That's causing people to run from your ass. They don't want to be like you. So when I became liberated, you know, they told me the Holy Ghost will condemn you. I took my ass all the way up to California and I said, if it's true, he's going to condemn me up there. I'm about to go up to California. I had to fly four hours and a half hours to get there. And when I got there, I said, I'm about, I'm about to put it to the test. I put on me some pants, and when I tell you, it had been 19 years since I had on any pants. When I tell you, when I talk about no condemnation, none, up there in California. The Holy Ghost is the same here as he is up there in California. And it was no, I didn't feel, uh, I felt liberated, I felt fine, and I felt pretty. We went to the beach. I wasn't brave enough to put on a swimming suit. So I went out on the beach with shorts. They were shorts almost down to my freaking knees, but no condemnation. So now in 2011, I'm at a space of total liberation, like jump off 
get out of my ears. You can't even penetrate me no more with none of that negative stuff. Don't try to quote no scriptures because you got it twisted. You're nothing but a human just like I am. And your dumb ass have not been called to tell me nothing. But since I've been liberated, man, and I put on, you know, what I put on so I can give everybody a visual to let you know, man, it's those type of things that are cause a brother to even look your direction. What Billy D, what is, who's that, who's that? I'm in love with the other woman, nigga. Anyway, <sighs> but I am persuaded. Give your, give him what that other one will. As it is now, <laughs> I drop it like it's hot. Oh, yeah. For my man. Yeah. All of that that you see, I give that to him. He'll have to wonder anything about me because I give it to him. And in doing all of that, and guess what? I still love God with all of me. I'll see you in heaven. Here's that, Jay. It's me.